everybody, this is Praxis and the louvered vent up there went pretty well yesterday. I'm going to lift you up so you can kind of get a bit of a detailed look at it. Uh, overall the process went really smoothly, I think. You can see we've got uh, even spacing between them. They all have kind of a, a nice horizontal parallel feel to them. Uh, if I bring it over the edge you see there's a little bit of a gap on this side and a little bit of a gap over on this side. and. Uh, that's something I'm going to be uh, correcting in the, uh, the next event because we're doing the other event. I always like to do the, the less visible uh, version of something first because we had two vents both sides of the house. So I start on this side because this is like the less of a presentation greenhouse. Not that either of them are really presentation greenhouses, but the other greenhouse acts as a, uh, an entryway. So I figured if I'm going to have a prettier, better vent with more experience behind it, it'll be the other side. So this overall worked really nicely and especially those angled pieces up at the top, uh, they, they worked out pretty well. I'm going to bring you out and around and, uh, and we'll see from the outside. It's got a screen over it so it's not all that amazing. Uh, one change that I'm working on with this one here, this is the new one. Uh, I've braced it out uh, like, uh, uh, you know, as, just as I did the uh, first one, except when I did the, uh, well, I'm going to drop you guys down here for a sec. When I did the, uh, the one in this greenhouse here, I only put, uh, well, I actually use this board, and I, I only put one diagonal here to keep this angle. And I found as I was putting in all of the louvered vents here, uh, you know, if they were a little too short or a little too uh, long, uh, specifically too short, because remember, uh, there were some of those gaps on the side. Uh, when I was making them, if they were a little too short and I was screwing it in, it was pulling the sides in. Uh, and I want to try to prevent that this time. Not that that was a, such a big deal, I'll just have some trim around it, no one's ever going to be the wiser. But I figured, you know, why not try to prevent it this time. So I've got this in here uh, to prevent that happening. What would be really bad is if the louvered vents were too uh, wide and they spread this thing out too much and then it might not have slid in. Fortunately that one was just a little bit small so it still slid in fine. Uh, so that's what I'm doing on this one. Uh, I also made a mistake uh, yesterday when I was, uh, uh, I marked off all the little lines on here and show you guys they've got all the the, the marks while the louvered vents are going to go and i pre-did the uh pre-drilled the holes uh for each one uh the, the last one i i made the the classic carpenter's mistake where i drew a line but i put the, the holes on the wrong side i don't think it's a huge deal i could fill them in i probably won't even bother to though uh let's go back up to the top with what time we have left on this video roll and i'll try to show you what we got Going on up there. Finally, clipped this uh, thorn bush back so I can walk through here a lot easier. All yesterday, I was uh, getting myself snagged on it. So here it is. Here I, I threw the screen back up, so it's uh, you know not particularly easy to see, but I'll get you kind of close. And you can see, uh, you know, it's working out pretty well. The the final thing is going to be the screen will be taken off. The screen's going to be on the inside, and then there's going to be a kind of a frame board around it. There's a piece of flashing at the bottom that'll tuck uh, over the top of the fr uh, the framing. And uh, I think it should shed water pretty well. I am going to have one other piece of flashing up at the top, uh, this diagonal board that you see running along here. I'm going to be tucking some flashing up underneath that, and that's going to tuck over the top uh, edge of the, the frame that goes around the louvers there. So it's going pretty well. Uh, we were supposed to be a little sunnier today. So far it's not raining. We had a forecast of rain in the past hour, but it was like kind of a 50-50 thing. Looks like we're getting lucky. And this is where the next one is going in. Same exact process, just uh, kind of working out the kinks from uh, how I did it the first time. And that's a great thing about whenever you're doing carpentry or any kind of thing in life. Uh, you know, whenever you do it first time, you've never done it before, you know, you do the best you can, but you learn from that and you try to make it so you're better and better and better. So whenever I'm doing carpentry projects, if there are ones that are, uh, you know, less visible, I try to work on those first, kind of practice my skills on there, and then I'm ready for prime time, so to speak, when I'm having the ones in like the entry greenhouse. But really, I'm pretty pleased with how the first one came out. That's it. Thanks for watching.